Good afternoon. Hi. Dr. Ed Hi, Dr. You. Adams. Go ahead. Bye. And Dr. Bernard. So let me, yeah, my, let me just uh, take you through to my team, Dr. Deepak, oh. Dr. Pradeep, right, and all my senior technicians are here. Doc, all right. Right. So let me just uh, okay, take you to the slides first. The case. Uh, first slide, please. Uh, the gentleman is about 45 years old. He's he's hypertensive and a type 2 diabetic. Angina on exertion class 3. Well preserved LB functions, about 50% ejection fraction. His CAG, which was done about two months back, two and a half months back, showed left main bifurcation, which is 90%, and LED, which is a diffuse disease which are difficult to treat surgically. Uh, can we have the first slide? Uh, next slide, please. Just see this. Uh, these two views are telling you that LED has got a diffuse disease. Uh, the tight points are at the ostium. The mid-segment shows moderate disease. And distally also there's a tight disease. Sarc ostium is also very tight. So considering the diffuse nature of disease, uh, we decided to just go ahead with the angioplasty. Uh, can we the next slide, please? So this was February. So first the distal stent was placed. This was a two millimeter into 19 millimeter biomimora with a very thin, thin strut. Next please. And this is the bifurcation that we made with a partial crush technique. And the end result was reasonable. Uh, the guy remained asymptomatic for nearly two and a half months. But again he had the similar... We almost don't he hear you. Could you do something with the voice because the loudness uh, is... You can't uh, hear us? Okay. Can we... Uh, sure am I heard too loud? Connection. Uh, if you okay, can improve the loud loudness or too slow? because... Too okay. Fine. Uh, hello? Can you hear me now? We hear you, but not very well. Just slightly better, I think. Okay, but can you just improve the audio? Did you see the pictures? I'm sorry for the, the they're coming up with the audio improvement. Uh, did you see the last picture of uh, left main bifurcation stenting? Yeah, we yes, we saw that. There a lot there. We're not quite sure yeah, what can we just go back again? Uh, can you hear us now? Now we see the still frame uh, without arteries. So if no, you can you're seeing uh, still frame. Fine. do a loop and see can now. You, can you hear us? Not perfect, no, but better us? than before. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, no, like, no, no. Uh, they are improv they're improving the audio. Okay. So this was the last picture in the last sitting, which we did about two and a half months back. Which technique did you use for the uh, left main? It's a partial crush. Okay. We didn't hear what okay. the, the so using a LED stand was. Was it a, 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 B, a BRS or, or a metallic stand? No, no, it's not a BRS. It's a metallic stand. It's a, it's a, it's a Zines V, three and a half into 28 millimeters in the LED. And circumflex had a resolute integrity 3 into 18. Right. Uh, am I heard now? Yes. That's good. Okay. Next, please. So th the guy comes again uh, uh, for the last two weeks with the same symptoms, which is angina oxygen class 3. He, he can barely walk for more than. Uh, uh, 
five minutes and then he says that angina is there. And now next slide, next slide please. So we repeated the angiogram. Hmm? Uh, the RCA is a large artery with a mild to moderate disease. Next please. And this is the left system. Uh, the bifurcation stays just the same, but there's a disease progression in the mid LED. And the two points which are tied, one is uh, just beyond the first stand, and second one is just before the second stand. And there's some gro in growth in the distal small stand also. So which stand was uh, the distal one? And which? Uh, uh, it's a biomime aura. It's a metallic. Okay. Biomime aura. Two two oh, two point oh. I said two oh, into nineteen. Two into nineteen. Okay. Right. So now, the, uh, the uh, what what do the panel says about how should we treat this patient? I'm Can not sure if opinion? I would have chosen uh, in first instance. Now it's easy to say, of course, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I would have chosen in first instance to treat PCI with this patient. Before you, I mean, with okay. the first situation. Now, I think uh, you started, uh, I think I would go on with PCI. I wouldn't go for surgery personally. Right. Because now you have only single vessel disease. Uh, actually, I, I think... No, even, even that time the distal LED was diffuse disease, there was no, no, like uh, that we discussed with the surgeons also at that time. You wouldn't have yeah. a good result yeah. with surgery. Yeah, no, I think you would do a jump craft, maybe mid and distal LAD with the Lima. But uh, yeah, you need to have good surgeons, depending on how good are your surgeons. <laughs> so what, what I'm okay, sure okay. This view so now the question yeah, is that would you, would you still recommend surgery for him now? No, no, not for surgery. No. We'll go ahead with angioplasty. Not but for surgery. We, we cannot really tell okay, how, fine. How, is it, how important so the, that second diagonal, or first diagonal is. Um, the first diagonal is important vessel, but unfortunately, it's very tight lesion. Uh, now, let us go to live shots today. Next, please. Next, please. Do you want to touch both Next, lesion please. in LAD, the uh, located at the LAD origin at this distal one as well? I understand. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm not hearing you. Uh, but you have two lesions in LAD, one at the site of the yes. origin of the diagonal branch and the second one below, yes. which is yes. as well tight. So I understand you want to, to target both lesions, yes? Certainly, yes. Yeah, okay. With, now, uh, two stands, uh, with two stands or with one long stand, what is your strategy for this? Just to make a room there and see that how we take this small vessel with a drug balloon and maybe do a focal stenting if, if, if the need arises. What do you say? Or you will straight away go, go for stenting? Um, <coughs> I think that the risk of dissection uh, with uh, balloon only is much higher because it is a very severely disease and s small lesion. So, you know, I, in my opinion, I would prefer to stand the wall made LED. I totally agree with you. I agree with you. Without using, uh, because, you know, so we, you also you have to check the true uh, size of the mid LED. It's maybe larger than we can see with the... And geography. Uh, yeah, we, we will do the IVAS once. Uh, yeah, yeah. as we go along, we will do the IVAS and see the actual size of the LED. Right. So mm -hmm. now, now the another problem is there. Once we started. Next, please. This uh, all-star wire goes easily into the main branch, into main artery. Into Next, please. Now, despite trying very hard, with the with a slippery wire, nothing, no wire goes into the diagonal. N next, please. Next, please. 
and as you see as soon as the wire is there there in the led the flow is less in diagonal also next please next please so so what i did was i pulled the led wire back and the flow in the diagonal improves but still there no wire which can which can go into the go into the diagonal so what i'm planning now is to just uh, dilate very very gently with a small balloon and see that whether we can wire the diagonal is it all right with you guys you take some risk but you can try do you have any any angle okay. the micro catheter like a cruise yes we have micro catheters now with with the angle tip no super cross micro catheter no we don't have to say angle tip that can help in this uh for unfortunately we, no we we don't have that to short of that i think uh, the plan should be that we should dilate it gently and see that whether uh, the plaque shifting is not there in diagonal we can wire that can we have a two two minute balloon please and despite being the closure of this diagonal the guy is not having any angina the flow is almost stop 2 into 2 into 15 continue run short of crusade anything else we can try so is your no suggestion uh, both wire so you have one wire in the led uh, are you planning to put the second wire already after the diagonal or just uh, before you balloon so that you have the wire already Kind of uh you see i have i have i have tried the blue i have tried the wire yeah. i have tried a whisper wire and a fielder xtr okay. but unfortunately nothing is crossing no but now you have the the wire that you want to put in yeah. the diagonal is it already you left it in the led or or you just first pre dilate and then you will go no, no i have i uh, yes you do i'll wise. go i'll go with the after uh, pre dilate okay okay let's can i have a small check please Okay, one, two, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight. Eight and a half, nine. Deflate. Deflate. Just small check. Right. Yeah. Okay. Gently go one. Two millimeters ten. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Four. Deflate. You see the balloon slips down. It's a fibrotic lesion. Okay, go up one, one and a half two, two and a half three, three and a half four, four and a half five, five and a half six. Six and a half, seven. Deflate. Let me see that how the diagonal is flowing now. I hope it flows. Right, right. Right, right. Check. Yeah, it's flowing.
can give the filler the XTR. Till now it is flowing. So I'm taking an X filler XTR. Are you caught, please? Which wire uh, you would uh, like like to for me to take? I would go for an hydrophilic one. Like uh, I like the Sion Black personally, but you can consider Sion Black. Uh, okay. I don't know and if you have it in, in Whisper. India. No, I Sion Black we don't have. With Whisper, you can think of a Pilot 50 or a Pilot 150. Okay. Okay. But I don't know the other. So one first, let us see this filter. Small check. What wire are you using? This is Fielder XTR. This is it's a tapered wire with a slippery coating. The tip is 0.09. 0.09, sorry. Oh, no. uh, Cranial, please. Small. Oh, just don't work. Check, please. Can you whisper please back again? Okay, this is not taking the... You see, it's still that there's not enough room for it to rotate. I think I have to dilate it a bit more and take a chance. Because it's just the same as it was before. Check. I'm just taking another shoot. Now, come to our record. A small check. Would you consider putting the small balloon feathers to the lesion and deflect it in? Yes. I think I've entered. Can you please? This right, Aryo Cordelby was showing me the ostium of diagonal, which was not seen in other views. So that was the reason I came back to other view, that view. Aryo Cordelby is again. And show me the... F Okay, can we have the same tube alone again? And then we just uh, take a micro catcher and exchange the wire. Take fine cross and on BMW. Huh. So now, uh, w what should be the strategy for this small, small vessel? LED diagonal bifurcation. I would personally Any ideas? go for provisional. But, uh, yes, I I'm also thinking like that. 
but you, know, you can also decide to predilate and see how, small how, how much it will grow the vessel because it's possible that it's much bigger than we think in the end, the, in the diagonal. Maybe. We do the, uh, like, uh, Ivers and Boat. This would have been ideal for a capella, but it doesn't exist anymore. Or a triton also. Can you please? Now we should dilate this LED to the full and and then we do the IVAS. Go up. What did they fall? Five, six, seven, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Any consensus about putting a scoring balloon deflate? The, it's a small vessel and a fibrotic lesion. No, no, don't remove, don't remove. Are you caught, please? Because the lesion is not fully open, the proximal one. There was a good waste on the balloon. I am planning to take a, a 2 millimeter scoring balloon before I do the IVAS even. Or shall we decide the size after I was seeing the size of the vessel? Check so they are doing scoring balloon into the diagonal or is just a normal balloon this one? Yes. No, it's, it's a normal balloon at the moment because scoring would not go. It's a very tight lesion. What size is that? Check. Okay. It's a 2 into 15 millimeters. I'll go up 1, 2. Two and a half, three. Click any, please. Micro ready. Fine cross. I personally think one disadvantage of working on a wire three like, and a half, uh, four. like the fielder uh, uh, XTR is that it's black and you don't really see good uh, the, 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 the how, I how know the that. balloon behaves. Five, six, yes. I'll, I'll change it uh, change very, very good shortly. You maybe. Yes, I'll do that, yes. Six and a half, seven. Seven Six and a half, eight. Eight and a half, nine. Nine and a half, ten. Eleven, twelve. Dog. Leaflet. Dog. It's a dog again. It's a different dog. Hmm? Are you caught, please? Wh which guiding card uh, do you have? Jatkins or, uh, or something yes. else? Yes, JL. JL 3, 7 up. Okay. Yeah. There's a mild disease at the ostium of uh, LA, uh, left main. <coughs> That's why the guiding is slightly out all the time. And let me take a shot in this view now. This will tell us exactly the diagonal length. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. Mm. See that mm. And then we need another BMW there. Doc Lang? Doc Lagai? Doc Shiva? 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 Doc
होल्ड वायर सेट कोई बात नहीं ले लो अब ले लो इस दे यस नहीं अब तो निकालना पड़ेगा ना पीटी क्या ही नहीं नहीं अभी मैं नहीं आ रहा ओके हम्म इसके बीच में बीएमडब्ल्यू हम्म इट्स डॉक डॉक लेट्स डॉक and a scoring balloon uh, first i think we take an ivas so at least we can see the size of the artery hmm. which wire are you putting now This is BMW. Okay. Which one? Hmm? BMW. 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 And you have also BMW in the LED. Hmm? Now LED has got all star. Okay. So do you? Yeah. Hold. Just open. Open the toy. How do you remove the the micro catheter with the, an extension or? Uh yeah, I'm just taking extension. extension. Yes, extension. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, give me an iris. Please. Hmm. It is stand at the origin of the diagonal or not? No, no. Center please Center please So you guys agree with the I was first I think mainly the LED would be worthwhile to Ivers indeed, as as uh, as we said before, be, to, to to see whether the which is the real caliber. The problem is that you will probably not have any part of the vessel that is kind of healthy, so we'll always continuously have some remodeling. So it will be very difficult to to yeah. really find out with this uh, the diameter. I think. Yeah, I think let us find out. Then we choose the scoring balloon of the same size. Would you prefer scoring balloon or a cutting balloon? For the LED. I think I will go for, for both line. LED and diagonal both. No scoring. I don't have it in my lab. <laughs> do you want, okay. do you want okay. to accomplish in Can general see? this procedure with two stands on or with only one stand into the LED and then to redilate the diagonal ostium? Mm. What is I just want one one stand in the LED. Okay. We have only LED stand mm. if required be. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So first we'll go scoring balloon or 
cutting balloon, whichever is uh, preferred mode, you see the result is like uh, very good once you see the uh, like scoring balloon or a cutting balloon. And uh, in my opinion, because of previous stents there in the left main and proximal LED, uh, the scoring balloon is a bit more friendly. You, you have also a restenotic lesion in the distal stent of the LED. Are you going to use also the cutting balloon inside or not? Mm -hmm. The scoring balloon? Uh, no, I'm not. No? Because you have a restenosis lesion. Uh, right? in, in the stent itself? Yeah. In, in, uh, no, that's a, that's a mild to moderate lesion. I would not touch that. Because this is the result also at that, uh, at that time also it was a hard plaque okay. and it gave you only that result. There was a residual stenosis in that. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Ready? No. Okay. Okay, ready. Mm hmm. Okay. On, Karu. Flash, flash, flash. Okay. 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 Yep, this is fine. Is it an automatic pullback? Do you have the... Yes, yes. Give me the pullback. Automatic pullback. So now I've gone beyond the first stand. What did it do? Don't do that. Everything is out. Just relax. Just leave it, leave it. Let me do the manual backs. Just hold. So it's done. No, 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 there's some problem there. There's some problem there. Okay, start. Yep. Can you see the I was on the screen? So you are now in the diagonal, right? This is the LED. LED. You no? see the hardly any diameter there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the distal uh, stand. And I don't think any surgeon can graft this uh, small vessel. It's a diseased vessel distally with less than 1.5 millimeter diameter. The previous stand shows uh, some ingrowth. Now the here diameter looks around 2.25, maybe 2.5. It gets a bit bigger. This probably starts to be a three. Yes, a bit bigger. Yes. But you never know if it's positive remodeling or, or whatever it is. It's very difficult to, to find the, the real diameter here. And the plug button is huge. There is a three O, let's say. Yeah, in one dimension three O, one dimension two point five. Yeah, 
down into the uh, gonna... the branch. Yep. That's the second one. Okay. The game now. Okay, yeah, so I'm just seeing the second stent also the proximal distal segment. So the stent in the proximal LED was three and a half, eh? right? Yes, three and a half. Okay. Yeah, this stent looks nice. Okay. It's well deployed. Oh, look. Okay. So. Would you like me to go to the diagonal also, or is it okay? I, I think, think we don't quite need to yeah. imagine the diagonal. You could see the awesome of the diagonal look pretty nice. Hmm. Do you do manual mm -hmm. pullback or, or automatic? It's automatic pullback. Automatic, okay. Flush. And the branch? Hmm. Flush. So now we quickly go into the diagonal. One eye was please. I was on screen please. I was on screen please. I think that's enough because here it's a very short segment. Ah, can we start, please? I was on screen, please. Hmm. Shuru karo. Start the run. Okay. Shall we start? Yep. So it's. Two and a half. Two th in one dimension, maybe three in another dimension. I understand you measure from external elastic lamina to external elastic lamina, yes? You, you mean it's larger? We are coming close to the ostium now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So now we need a 2.5 scoring balloon. Just hmm. Look, two and a half, isn't it? This time, when it was healthy. Yep. Go. Two and two and a half. Okay. Hmm. Uh, would you like me to dilate that proximal portion of distal stent also? Uh, live screen on the The image is small, yeah. So now your plan is against scoring balloon in the LED? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's a two and a half scoring balloon. Okay. And you start just at the proximal edge of the distal stand? Yes, this is what I'm planning. Can you ask some someone of your team to measure uh, the distance between the two stands with IBUS from the proximal okay. edge of the distal stand to the distal edge of the proximal stand? Okay, uh, go up one two. Hmm. Distant yeah. two, two and a half three. Okay, 
three and a half four. Four and a half five. Five and a half six. Seven and a half eight. Six and a half seven. Seven and a half eight. Eight and a half nine. Deflate. <coughs> okay. One. One and a half, two. Two and a half, three. Four, five. Six. Six and a half, seven. Seven and a half, eight. Deflate. We are just commenting that we like a lot the way you 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 let the balloon uh, inflate with the one one and a half two. We like it a lot. We don't do it, but I think I will uh, I will use it uh, if you allow me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, be gentle to arteries; they will be gentle to you. Go up, one two. I will quote you, I don't worry, I will quote you. Two and a half, three. <laughs> three and a half, four. Four and a half, five. You see the fibrosis? Can you see the... On the balloon? Five and a half, six. Six and a half, seven. Hmm? Seven and a half, eight. Eight and a half, nine. Nine and a half, ten. Ten and a half, eleven. Eleven and a half, twelve. 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half, 15, 15 and a half, 16, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, 18, 18 and a half, 19. Deflate. 10 minutes. Hmm. Is it good distance? 10 minutes. Oh, that is around 40 millimeters. So now let us skip now. How much is the distance? 40. 40. 40, 40 millimeters. 39? The distance between the two stands is about 39 millimeters. How much? 39. 39, okay. So, I think uh, we should just go into the diagonal with, hmm. with the same scoring balloon. So what length of the stand we should choose? What length and what diameter? Yeah, we were just discussing here and uh, there is a, mm -hmm. a preference for a, probably for a morph 40 because you have 39 uh, length between the two stands and uh, probably 3 or 2 and a half if I can speak okay. for the group. Do we have morph 3 or 2 and a half? 40? What, what is your plan? 
let me just uh, tally the diagonal then I'll clean up. I'm just at the Austin in the dilated segment. Small check. Okay, one. Okay, one. Okay, two. Okay, Seven and a half eight, eight and a half nine, nine and a half ten, ten and a half eleven, eleven and a half twelve. Twelve and a half thirteen, thirteen and a half fourteen. So uh, we have uh, two point five three. Yeah, three two point five forty. Yeah, we have an option of two point five three into forty. That is two point five distal and three proximal and forty length. And we have got an option of two point two five, two point seven five forty. Different. There was even some doubt that the. The proximal part of the LED after the stand would be even bigger than three, or approaching the three and a half. So, so three, uh, two point five into three forty. Yeah. Okay. Give us 2.5 into 40. 2.5 into 40. 2.5 into 3. Sorry. Uh, 3 into 40. Diagonal system is well open but well dissected also. Now, another question will come whether you remove the diagonal wire before you deploy the stain. It is not tracking. Are you caught, please? Yes, yes. What do you think is the problem? Is the, is the is the stent in the left main LED, or is uh, some tangling of the two wires, or a combination? Maybe, maybe, maybe tangling of the two wires because one is BMW. It's always tend to tangle. In any case, I have to remove the wire before I deploy the stand because I can't uh, like uh, keep it between the two stands. So, shall I remove the wire? I think you should safely remove from diagonal the wire from LED and come back again. No come back again. From diagonal, no. Now maybe uh, you can even consider a uh, very early use of, of a guideliner to pass uh, the first stand. Uh, Dep depending. You I mean see, the proximal really stand the is, is the problem. Then probably I would also remove the wire. But if you think, uh, if you're not. But you sure see, in any case, well, because the prox, uh, you see, the proximal struts of this stand 
will overlap the distal sun in LED. So I have to remove the wire in any way once I, I am deploying this thing. I can't uh, keep it inside, otherwise it will, in, in, it will entangle. See your point. Or I take two sh short stands. I think I would just let let me try short stands first. Achha, give me a two and a half into. 24 2 and From the last attempt that you made looks like the stand stops uh, at the level of the pa passage between the left main and the LED if I'm correct or does it stop uh, No, 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 it, 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 there's a bend there in the LED when it takes off from left main okay. and there the stand is stopping. Okay. So let me try a smaller one because the bigger one is not going. Can you please? <coughs> this tracks down. Center, please. Now, would you like me to cover the old stent uh, a bit or not? What size is the stent? Sorry, you missed that. It's, it's, uh, it's a two and a half, 24. Buy my Mora. I would put it just in proximal okay, overlap. Let me just check it. Stand, yeah. I'll just do a prop proximal overlap a small bit. Is it okay? That looks fine. Yes. Is it fine? Or shall I pull a bit, 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 a bit more back? Okay. I think it's okay. Go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9 is the optimal deployment pressure for the aura. Deflate. And we'll measure the length also before we take this out. Okay, go up. 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Deflate. Next one Three into Now, we let me take the measurement for the next one. Three ninety. So, nineteen or twenty-four? I think nineteen should be enough. <laughs> Okay, 319 please. Last shot please.
बात छोड़ दो आर ए कॉर्डल Any suggestions? Guideline, I think. I think also guideline at this level. I really think that the problem is the, is the proximal stand. So if you can pass yes. that with the guideline. Not on the proximal stand. Oh, you can anchor. If you can anchor with the balloon this and you bring the guideline in. It's, it's the guideline I think will pass. Can we have another wire, please? Yes, it is. Another all star, please. Or give me a, a BMW. BMW. Would it be possible to have a look at the uh, eco examination to see if there is maybe under expansion? of the proximal stand already implanted, the proximal LED stand. That, that, that we have seen, maybe, that already we have seen on IVAS. If inflate this area, then it will be much more easy to cross and to cross with the secondary stand, you know? Hmm? Uh, you see, already we have seen on IVAS, there's not, there's not much of the, like, under expansion of the proximal stand. And the ostium of the LED is pretty wide. So I'm just uh, taking a body wire first. Are you caught, please? Let's make a sheet of this. Yeah. I'm not very, very happy with the putting, push, jutting in a gu guide liner, shoving into the left main stand. That's why I'm trying a simpler way if it, get, it can happen. Yeah. Try uh, to bring the guiding more more deep into the. In the end, you have a stent in the left main, so you can also push the guiding deeper and see whether if you can torque it a bit into the ostium of the LED. Mm -hmm. 
I'll try that. Deep sea thing. You see the LED uh, left main here has got a slight up curve. So, this one worked. Kareem, please. Now, the question remains whether we should remove the diagonal wire before put the stent in or not. I wouldn't personally remove it. It's, it's a BNW. You will not remove right? it or remove it? It's a BNW wire. Right? Yes, it is. So, you don't have any issue with yes. polymers and stuff. I, I would leave it there personally. Uh, it will be locked. See this? There's only one layer, so. Now you have a little bit of overlap, props. No. I will pull it out because I'm not comfortable in jailing this wire between the two stands. And we'll see. Okay, go up. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Six and a half, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve and a half, thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. 16 and half, 17, 17 and half, 18. At 18, this becomes nearly about 3.36. Deflate, please. There's no ST elevation, patient doesn't have any angina. Yeah, I see that's all dissection there. It's, it's, it will be very difficult to recross this diagonal now. Trying trying to wire, rewire this diagonal, we might close it off completely. Yeah. Yeah. I would uh, leave it like that. Okay. And it's a small vessel and it's close, closer is not causing any problems. Let me have a 3 0 uh, uh, no, non compliant balloon. Very nice. What is this? Fast. So you can the Three. Fifteen. Quick. So we are just going with the three O high pressure balloon.
between the moving yeah. us to the other Catla. It looks very nice. Very nice result. I think we're going to be moving on. Perhaps we'll see the final result later. Okay. Do we have any connection with this CAS lab or Club? not yet? I think with One this CAS call. lab, which was uh, Five, seven, transmitted already, just to congratulate the case 11, or 12, not? 13, 14.